Hey everybody, this is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13, and today I'm going to teach you how to remove the rear wiper arm and motor assembly from your 2019 to 2022 Hyundai Kona. The model that I have here today is a 2020 Hyundai Kona EV. However, all of the Konas are going to utilize the same rear wiper motor assembly. So the instructions should be the same. We're going to remove this and replace it with a plug, and that's going to completely transform the way that this rear window looks. Rear wiper assembly are often unnecessary or just sometimes unwanted and if you are of the camp mentality of oh you have to have that wiper blade just look at a Hyundai Tucson which shares an extremely similar rear slanted rear window and has absolutely no wiper blade from the factory so let's get into this work shall we first we need to remove the rear wiper arm Open up the hatch. Remove this Phillips push pin. The pull down handle area. And then remove the entire plastic trim panel. Now we have access to the underside of the motor assembly, so unplug the wiring connector first. And then the three 10 millimeter bolts that are holding it in place. And it just drops right out. This is what the motor assembly looks like. Sweet. Now you can remove the rubber grommet. and your removal process is complete. Be aware that the hole in the glass is just about 22 millimeters in diameter. Most rear wiper plugs are made for 24 millimeter holes or larger, so I purchased this plug off of a seller on eBay from the UK. There are also plastic options available, but I chose not to go with plastic. Instead, I did a all machined aluminum route. I like these multi-piece kits. They're more expensive, but they're significantly higher quality. The only thing to be aware of is that anodized finishes, which is pretty common on these types of materials don't hold up to UV very well. So what I did was I painted this the body color black. So you can see that this is a painted surface, which is just going to hold up against the sun. This is probably an unnecessary step for most people, but it is absolutely necessary for anyone who lives in Florida. I'll have some information about this product in the video description. Now let's get it onto the car. So as great of a kit as this is, we are going to run into one pretty significant problem, and that's that this plug on the backside is going to conflict with this metal. So I'm going to have to cut that away in order to use this kit. So the first thing I'm going to do is mark where I need to cut and I'm just going to kind of hold this up just to get an idea and draw on it with a sharpie and that's how much material needs to be removed. Flying sparks shouldn't damage anything but just to be on the safe side I'm going to mask off some of the glass. I just used some packaging paper out of the recycling bin, so nothing fancy, it's just something that's more than nothing. Now I'm going to use a Dremel with a cutoff wheel and just get a rough cut and remove some of that material. Take your time and make shallow cuts and you'll get through both layers of steel fairly quickly and easily and leaving this uh, gasket material behind. And now just carefully cut away some of that sealant material, just enough so that we can fit our plug in place. Easy peasy. That's the finished result after trimming away and you can see that we can fit this plug in there absolutely no problem with no clearance issues. So we are good to go and check out my sweet fan hanging out in the background there. Now even though this little cut section right here is never going to be seen, it is exposed metal. So I tend to like to paint over it with something. So this is just some testers model paint. It's matte black. It doesn't really matter. Just something to cover an exposed steel edge.
Now I painted it a little extra heavy and a little extra wide, so it's not going to win any beauty contest, but it is going to prevent any rust or corrosion from starting and forming on that metal there. We can remove this paper now. Okay, we're finally ready to install the plug. So first thing we're going to do is take it and the gasket and we're going to mate them together. It fits right in that seal. Going to close the hatch door, wipe down the glass surface so it's clean. Place this oh so gently into that little hole. Open it back up. I've got the backing plate here and the gasket that goes with it there. So those get mated together like so. There's the single screw and the lock washer. Those get mated together like so. Screw goes through that hole like so. Ta-da! And then this is gonna go into there. This part will be easier if you have a friend. However, it can certainly be done alone. Now to tighten it, I'm gonna choose not to use the impact and just good old fashioned ratchet. So that way I have a little bit more control over the amount of force. And that's it. I really just tightened it enough that the lock washer was compressed because that pretty much guarantees that it is not going to unscrew itself. It does not need to be tight, tight, tight. So do not over tighten this. Okay, let's do some reassembly now. I'm gonna put the big plastic trim panel back on. and put the handle and the screw back in. And that's it, baby, we done. And here you go, this is the new look of your rear window of your Hyundai Kona, which is beautifully smooth and flush. And now you can see the importance of why I really wanted to paint that gloss black is because it really matches with the reflection of everything else. Like it's just a better finish than anodization. Okay, I hope you guys appreciated this how-to installation instruction. If it was of value to you, give it a like, or maybe perhaps check out some of my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13. You have yourselves a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. See ya.